Okay, so this is exercise 10.2. Um, the problem on page 329, uh, calculate the joules of energy required to heat 454 grams of water from 5.4 degrees Celsius to 98.6 degrees Celsius. All right, so um, to do that, we're going to use the equation Q equals M S delta T, where uh, on page 331, you guys can come up with the, uh, the definitions here. So would you please uh, enter Q and what, uh, what Q is. So that's the energy or heat required in Q. And by the way, uh, your key term joules is the unit of Q or heat. So what is uh, S here? So that's going to be the specific heat capacity. Um, and that definition I need you to enter. Right now it's on page 329. So please write the definition for specific heat capacity on 329. It's not a key term. I don't know why. Okay, and then mass is in what unit? All right, and then temperature change. Um, any delta function, uh, this is the Greek letter delta, it means uh, change. Yeah. So uh, what that means is you take your final temperature and you subtract it from your initial temperature. So any delta function is always the final condition minus the initial condition. So whatever temperature happened last minus whatever temperature happened first. Uh, notice that uh, if your uh, temperature final is, is greater than your temperature initial, you would get a positive delta T here. And that means you're going up in temperature. And that would, re would require a positive amount of heat to do that because positive heat is, is heat entering the system. Um, if it was a reaction, we would call it endothermic, but this is actually just a physical change. All right, um, so that uh, is, is what we, uh, that's how we calculate the temperature uh, difference there. So what are the units of temperature here? Okay, so Celsius is the right unit for temperature. Okay, so uh, the, the actual exercise on 320 is calculate the, the joules of energy required to heat 454 grams of water from 5.4 degrees Celsius to 98.6. Can you guys please calculate the change in temperature now. So that's going to be uh, from 5.4 degrees Celsius to 98.6. So that's going to be 5.4 degrees Celsius here and uh, 98.6 degrees Celsius here. So that is equal to delta T and that's going to be ninety three point two degrees Celsius so that is the temperature change that goes right there in this equation alright so once again the question here is uh, calculate the joules of energy required to heat five or four hundred and fifty four grams of water from 5.4 degrees Celsius to 98.6 degrees Celsius. So we're going to use this equation here. Um, we have a mass of 454 grams. Uh, we need to use the specific heat capacity for water. This is going to be a common one, and it's on page 329, table 10.1 at the top. What is the specific heat capacity for water? Please enter the units also. Okay, so that's... Uh, 4.18, I think this book uses 4, yeah, 4 joules per gram Celsius, quite a, uh, quite a unit there, multiplied by the 93.2 degrees Celsius temperature change that we, uh, we calculated in the last step. So please enter the answer to this.
So we'll call it uh, about 177,000 joules. So it's pretty common to put this into kilojoules. Could you please put this number into kilojoules at this point? Okay, so that's going to be uh, 177 kilojoules. Okay, so if we get a pretty big number, uh, it's common to, to put the number in kilojoules. All right, thank you very much.